Who won? Best of luck. That's black. Black. Red number one. That's the tumble dryer. You're on That's the way. Start, anyway. OK, Gary, just take your time. That's it, settle in. Red, number six. That's the golf clubs. Black. Red, number five. That's the anniversary clock. Well done, Gary. Well done. Well done. OK, most remember what's gone. Ready to go. Red, number two. That's the portable typewriter. Just black. But that's the red, it's number three. That's the pound puppies. You've done well, boys. You have won the tumble dryer, the portable typewriter, the pound puppies, the anniversary clock, and the golf clubs. <laughs> boys. You've done very, very well there. Five nice prizes. You've got £524 you take home, whatever happens. The £300 that Pete Everson won for your charity, uh, that's on its way at the end of the programme. It's the prizes we're thinking about. Would you like to gamble those prizes against tonight's star prize, which is hiding behind Bully? 101 or more with six darts. Three for Gary first, and then three for Moose. You've got the time it takes the board to revolve to tell us what you'd like to do about those prizes. Come on. <laughs> That was a very mixed reaction. They're very mixed because they are, well, the nice prizes. Tell me what you're going to do. We've decided to gamble it. You're going to gamble it. Non dark blue for the first. <laughs> Once again, Scarry, All just take your time. Remember, 101 or more for tonight's star prize. Best of luck. <laughs> 20. Five. And 20, 45. That's not bad, Gary. There you have it, Moose. 56 or more for tonight's star prize. 20. One. And 20. Moose, unlucky, but that's the gamble. Boys, I've got to show you what you would have won. Look at this. It's a bullseye star prize holiday to Africa. In the shadow of Mount Kilimanjaro lies Kenya's Amboseli National Park, and that's the location for seven exciting days and nights on safari. With the help of an experienced guide, you'll be able to find and photograph the magnificent wildlife which roams free on these endless grassy plains. And then, to soothe away the dust and excitement, we've added an extra week at a luxury hotel in Mombasa by the Indian Ocean to make a relaxing end to an exciting bullseye star prize holiday to Kenya. Good holiday, wasn't it? We'd have been absolutely thrilled to bits if you'd made it. Really, really, really. You've been super contestants. You've been a delight to have on the show. You've made a lot of friends tonight. And also, of course, you've made yourself a lot of money. There it is, £524. And, of course, you've got your bullies and your tankers. Our pleasure to give you those. Thanks very much for coming on the programme. We'll see you next week on Bullseye. All right, don't forget, thanks very much to Pete Everson for, uh, for throwing for charity for us. Super contestants tonight. Could you have done it? You've made a lot of friends here in the studio, I promise you. Let's hope you're our friends next week as you watch Bullseye, because you can't beat a bit of bully. Bye. <laughs> Ladies, here we come. So much new beavers. So when are you going to put those needles in? <laughs> Ow, my back. So much new butthead. Yeah, baby. Parenthood is cool. You're cool, Dad. I now pronounce you husband and husband. This is the happiest day of my life. So many new reasons. Hail dim with a hurtling. Oh, no. To stay on the sofa. Let the games begin. Brand new beavers and butthead. Tonight from 10 on Comedy Central. Don't you ever just want to disappear, just walk out? This is the last kid. Nobody ever leaves. We've got five bodies frozen into a giant block of flesh. 
I've seen that before. Dead bodies? Weird circumstances? Those men died out there for a reason! We are hashtag blessed to have the world's most successful game show right here. Buzz in for Classic Millionaire. Weeknights at 10 on Challenge. Bully, the cartoon bull, drops down from the public house sign. Enters the premises where a darts contest is advertised. As people drink, he picks up a set of darts, takes aim and scores a bullseye. Ladies and gentlemen, will you welcome your host for the evening, Jim Bowen. Nice having with us on this pre-Christmas bullseye. We're all excited and we're full of Christmas spirit. It's marvellous. So let's meet the first couple tonight who are going to play with us on Bullseye. From Time Tees, Mickey and John Gray. Nice to see you. And Hello. John, how are you? Not all the bad. way from? Newcastle. Newcastle. Oh, way up, up by A? Up north. Yes. Yeah. We, we haven't had many Geordies on. You are Geordies, aren't you, from That's Newcastle? Right, yeah, yeah. That's right. What do you do for a living, Mickey? I'm a Libra. Well, well, well you, you're lucky to be working up there at the moment, aren't you? Right. And what about you, John? I work for a soft drinks company. Soft drinks? Yeah. Oh. What do you, are you a cleric? Or, or, or... Oh, no, on the, on the wagons. You drive the yeah, wagons? Yeah, and, and you drop the stuff off and all the business? Pop, we used to call it. That's it. That's Pop pie. How do you get the general knowledge bit? Do a lot of crosswords. Ah, yeah. you see. Words, that sort of thing. Yeah. Are you married, either of you, both of you? No. I am, yeah. You're married? Yeah. Well, he looks quite happy. Well, <laughs> <laughs> um, any children, John? Yeah, one. Two year old boy. Two year old boy, yeah. Do you play darts for a local team, Mickey? No, I, I play it as a hobby. You don't play for a pub or anything? No. no I see. Play as a, it's a lovely accent, that's a musical accent, that, isn't it? Nice to have you with us. Mickey, off you go over there. And John, right. in onto your little seat, and we'll move on and welcome the second couple who are going to play with us on Bullseye. <laughs> From London, Graham Tedder and Betty McClellan. Oh, nice to see you. And Betty. How are you, Betty? You feeling all right now? Not too bad. <laughs> Good girl. Where are you from, both of you? Berkhamsted in Hertfordshire. Berkhamsted. The canal runs through there. What's the canal that runs through Berkhamsted? The Grand Union. The Grand Union, that's right. We pass it on the train going down to London, that's yeah. it. What do you do for a living, Graham? Uh, I do demolition work. Demolition expert. And what about you, Betty? I'm a civil servant. Are you really? Can we ask what branch? Well, I'd rather you didn't, but if you really want to know, Go it's on. the Department of Health and Social Security. Oh, DHSS. Yes. Oh, you'll be busy then at the moment. Very won't busy. Keep him very busy. Is it your own company, Graham? Yes. Yeah. And do you have, how many men do you have working for you? About a dozen at a time. Really? Yeah. And that's that's a headache keeping them working, yes. I suppose, isn't it? It's these days. Listen. You, now you've obviously had an accident there, haven't you? Yes. Tell us about it. Well, it was many years ago when I was yeah. 11 years old. Yeah. What and did you uh, do? it was uh, a petrol can blew up. And what were you doing? On a building site. Yeah. Uh, one of their old fires. A group of young lads. You know. Yeah. Yes, nice to have you mm. with us. Lovely to be able to talk about that, okay. Graham. It's smashing. Lovely, that. Marvellous. Betty, off you yeah. go to your little seat. And Graham, go and sit down over there. That's great. That's the second couple. Yes, why not? Why not? Right. Let's bring on the third couple who are going to play with us tonight on this wonderful game of bowling. From Central, Peter and Steve Millington. Steve, how are you, boys? Fine, Colin. All right. You, you're feeling right, confident, are you? You're feeling all right. I don't know you're doing. But you're all right. You're enjoying the so far. So far. It's all right. Well, you've only been on a minute, so it's <laughs> nice and settled. Are you married, Pete? Yes, I am. Yeah. And Yes. Both married. Families? Yes. How many? Boy and a girl, too. Boy and a girl. No. Nothing. Nothing. Are you related? Brothers. brothers. You're brothers? Yeah. Ah, you have a look of, you know. Hi. Well, that's very good. <laughs> <laughs> How's your dad play? Average. Do you play for a pub? Uh, I play as a, an enthusiastic amateur. If I see. And obviously you play a fair game to be to have even got on the game. What about your general knowledge? Obviously it's fairly good. Reasonable. Yeah. Get on. Do you read a lot? Anything I can get my hands on. Papers, anybody's. Are you one of these pathological readers? You mm. can just pick it up and All read it. Re that's great. That. What about uh, what about your living? What do you do for a living? I work at a motor dealer. Selling cars? Not selling them, repairing. Bodging them up. No, repairing. <laughs> <laughs> You used to have the car, didn't you? You used to have a, my first car. It was two-tone, black and rust. I remember it. It was a wonderful <laughs> car. 
Steve, off you go to your little seat. Over there, Pete. Smash it. Let's, uh, yes, all right, welcome him. All nice and relaxed. Super. All right. Come and have a look at the board. We're coming up to the end of the year, so I'll just refresh your memories very, very briefly. It's the bullseye dartboard with categories round it, and in these categories, bonus areas, to be won by the darts player. Just to remind all of you, especially the dart players, the bullseye is worth £200. Isn't that marvellous? <laughs> all right. Once the subject's been hit, it drops out of the game. We'll just remind you about that as well. Let's get on with it. Now, we arranged the order of play before we came into the studios tonight, and they're all sitting there ready to play the game. Right. The first questions are worth £30 each. So it's John to look at the board and choose a subject for Mickey. Sport, please. Sport. OK, Mickey. Sport he wants. And he's got it for you, and he's got a £50 bonus, so that's a good start for you. I think you're all right on this one, John. You're all right on this one. What is the first name of the tennis player, Borg? Bjorn. It's absolutely right for £30. Well done. <laughs> now then, come on, Betty, choose a subject for Graham. Um, showbiz. Showbiz. All right, Graham. Here we go. Your mum wants a showbiz question. It's flashing to help you. It's there, £50 you've got before you answer the question. <laughs> right. Ooh, oh, Betty, I'm not sure about this. I'm really not sure about this. Who jumped to stardom in a leading role in Dr. No? I can tell you he, was, he, he had a number. He had three numbers behind his name. And he was an, it, it was an Irish first name, and it was Sean. Sean? Sean... Connery? Is right. Well done. That's marvellous. <laughs> <laughs> you like... You know, all right. Give us a smile, you're all right. Steve, come on, choose a subject for Pete. Words, please. Words, all right. Come on, Pete, see what you can do for Steve. Relax on this first round. £30 bonus you've got, and here's your question on words. <laughs> Think about this one, Steve. What do actions speak? Louder than words. He's right. Absolutely right. £60. <laughs> The score at the end of round one, John and Mickey with £80, Betty and Graham with £80, Steve and Pete with £60. We move on to round two. This time the questions are worth £50 each. A little bit more difficult and of course we've got less categories. Let's look at what remains. Food, places, affairs, that's current affairs, history, books, Great Britain and spelling. Right, come on John, subject for your partner. Spelling. Spelling, right. Flashing to help you. No problem. £100 bonus you've got. <laughs> Excellent. Marvellous. I think you could well do this as well. To be stealthy or secretive is to be surreptitious. Can you spell surreptitious? S-U-R-E-P-T-I-T-I-O-U-S. What a pity. One R short. You know where the R was missing, don't you? It's S U double R E P T I T I O U S. Never mind, your dark playing partner did well. You've 180 pounds. Let's move on, Betty. Choose a subject. Food. Food. Right, Graham. Mum wants food. Flashing to help you. 50 pound bonus you've got. Well done. <laughs> 50 pound question on food. You will get this, Betty. Just relax. What's the meat used to make Wiener Schnitzel? The meat Veal. is right. Good girl. Well done. <laughs> Good girl. Come on then, Steve. What do you think for Pete? Affairs, please. Affairs. Current affairs we're looking for. Pete, for your partner, Steve. Is there £50 bonus you've got? And here we go, your £50 question on affairs. Yes, fine. <laughs> How old is Her Majesty the Queen? 51. He's not right. Very, very close. Audience? 56 on April 21st this year. Right, at the end of that round gives us the scores. John and Mickey with £180, Betty and Graham with £180, Steve and Pete with 110 so it's all to play for as we go to round three. This time, the questions are worth £100 each. But we have lost a few more categories and they're that bit more difficult. Let's look at what we've got left on the board. We've got places, history, books, and Britain. As we look at John, to choose a subject for Mickey. 
History, please. History? Okay. Flashing for you there. £50 bonus you've got, and here's your £100 question on history. Could well do this, John, because you did say you read a lot. Which American coined the phrase, the four freedoms? In Lincoln. 1941, he said it. Abraham Lincoln. It's not. I did say the year for you as well to help you. Sorry about that. It was F.D. Roosevelt. I did say 1941. You didn't get... Never mind. You're still all right. You're still well in with a chance for the next round. Betty, choose a subject for Graham. Places. Places. OK, Graham. In you come. It's flashing to help you. Take your time to get your bonuses. £50 bonus you've got. Well done. <laughs> Little bit of pressure now. Little bit of pressure now, isn't there? Never mind. Which ducal residence in Derbyshire is known as... The Palace of the Peak. And it's something house. It's something house. I can tell you that. Derbyshire House. It's not. Sadly, you'll, you'll kick yourself when I tell you. Chatsworth House. Never mind. We move on with £110 so far. Steve, choose a subject for Pete. Britain, please. Britain. All right. Great Britain, as we're now pleased to say we are. You got your £30 bonus. Well done. Which famous potter is associated with the creation of the Etruria works near Burslem? Wedgwood. Is right for £100. <laughs> well done. Gives the scores. John and Mickey with 230, Betty and Graham with 230, and Steve and Pete came right back from the dead there. £240. So this is what we do to lose one of the two couples with £230. We ask the two dark players to come up to the hockey here and we take it's a sudden death nearest to the ball goes through to the next round all right so it's john up to the hockey first please i'm awfully sorry mickey to the hockey sorry mickey mickey to the hockey one dart as near to the ball as you can go and that's fine it's in the first ring out stand here come and stand with me mickey come on graham when you're ready old son let's get nearer to the ball than mickey And he's done it. He really has done it. It's, it is closer. I assure you it's closer. So, sadly, we've got to say cheerio to John and Mickey. Come on into the desk here. Man. Really, very, very close, wasn't it? Just closer, wasn't it? I know you knew it. Nice having you. Honestly, boy, it's been marvellous having you with us. Have the bullseye darts and the pen there. And you've £230. Now, these are in tens. I think there's... i better count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... Ten. You want to check that? No, I've trusted you. Trust me, right? <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is the first round. This. Do you realise the first round people going out? Two hundred, ten, twenty, thirty pounds. Has it been yeah. worth your coming? It certainly has, yeah. And it's been lovely having you because you've been two right grand lads. Put that in your pockets. Have that courtesy of Central. Put Great. it away. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. Give them a nice round of applause. <laughs> well, 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 well. So, uh, three couples tonight are going to have a super Christmas, aren't we? We've still got two left. And here, in the next part of the game, we use a traditional match play dartboard. <coughs> Just to remind you what goes on here, we ask the two remaining dart players to compete in three rounds of darts against each other. The highest scorer in each round wins for his partner a question. And the value of that question is the winning score. Now then, boys, it's pounds for points. OK, Graham, up to the hockey. As many as you can for a question for your partner. Come and stand with me, Pete. It's over to Tony. First round, Graham's a throw. Single five. It's trouble 20. And another trouble 20, that's 125. <laughs> Pete, a lot to do. 125 to beat. Single five. Single 20. And another five, that's 30 scored. First round to Graham. Wait, wins a question for Betty. Worth £125. The decoration OM is limited to 24 eminent men and women. What do the initials OM stand for? Order of Merit. Is right for £125. <laughs> well done.
Three, three, five, five plays two four. So we're moving to round two. Over to Tony. And once again, Graham throwing. Single five. Single twenty. Another twenty. That's forty-five for Graham. Pete with forty-five to beat. Single eighteen. Another 18. And a 16, that's 54. Second round to Pete. OK, question for Steve. And this is worth 54 pounds, Steve. Which very large member of the bird family is unique in having only two toes? A heron? It's not, so we can offer it to Betty. And it's worth £45 to you, Betty, if you can tell us which very large member of the bird family is unique in having only two toes. The ostrich. The ostrich is right for £45. <laughs> £400 plays £240. Over to Tony for round three. And the final round, and it's Graham to throw. Single five. Single five. And that's treble 20. That's 70 for Graham. Pete, moving to the hockey. 70 to beat. Single five. Single nine. And single 20, that's 34. Third round to Graham. Right, Betty, here's your question. It's worth another 70 pounds. Part of which English county is known as the Dukeries? Because it contains so many stately homes. The Dukeries. Which county? Bedfordshire. It's not. It was a very intelligent guess, actually. Now then, come on, Steve. For £34, the Dukeries. In it's six. It's not. And I know why you're thinking that, because of the royal family being there. It's, in fact, Nottinghamshire. Never mind, at the end of that round, Betty and Graham have £400, but we've got to lose Steve and Pete. They've done very well. £240. Come on, boys. <laughs> well done, lads. Well done, well done. You were great there, you really were a super. You've got here two bullseye tankers, which are all engraved. You've got the darts and the pen and £240. So it's been worth your coming, hasn't it? You'll spend a few bob there at Christmas, won't you? Make a fuss of the family. Too. We'll see you in a couple of throws. Well done. <laughs> Take the for that <laughs> Rocky deserves a day off. His guard duties. So we got this. The Simply Safe home security system. Nice, eh? And affordable. We chose the sensors. And the HD cameras that work for us. It was really easy to install. So no need for that, Rocky. Best thing, it doesn't cost an arm and it. Systems start from under £200 when you buy a professional monitoring plan. There's no safe like Simply Safe. And then everything was about being a stuntman. Now it's about being present. And action! There's no other option. We fight by sea. In an age where men dominated the world, she outsmarted them all. The Premier League. Don't you just love it? The pressure cooker. It is simply scintillating! Players conditioned to achieve. Focus, committed, game after game. How he has thirsted for that! They're relentless. Well, you have to be. In the greatest league in the world. The Premier League. To add Sky Sports, go to sky.com slash sports. He didn't fall down that shaft and die accidentally. He was, in fact, murdered. Murder in the Goldfields. Available now on Crime and Investigation. Welcome back to part two of this special bullseye. Now then, we're going to bring on stage probably the most famous figure in darts at the moment. Please welcome, all the way from Scotland, Jockey Wilson! <laughs> Jockey enters wearing his personalised shirt. Hello. Oh, thank 
Nice to see you. It's nice to see you again, Jim. Tell us about the year you've had. I've, it had really I've had a great year, Jim. No. I mean, I won the British Professional at the tail end of last year. That's right. Won the British Open in January. Yeah. Then I won the World Professional. What more can I ask? Well, for? I mean, incredible. The only thing I can ask for is to be number one. I'm number two at the moment, but I'm not complaining well, about that. We're working hard at it anyway. We'd like you to give a nice warm round of applause to Jock as he throws for charity tonight. Jockey Wilson. Go on, sir. Sir's jockey, world and British professional champion. A single five. Big five. It's treble seven, 21, 45 scored. <coughs> Still six starts. And jockey a lot to do with six starts. Single 20. Another 20. And that's a treble 20, 100. Jockey then, 145, three to go. Single 20. Another 20. And that's another 20, that's 205. Thank you. Well, let me apologise to you. Always nice to have you on the show. We'd like to bring the couple in who chose the charity. Tell Jockey about the charity tonight, you two, because uh, we know it's something particularly <laughs> special to you. Go on. Tell us about um, it. It's for a local hospital, West Hearts in uh, Hemel Hempstead, yeah. and it's for a brain scanner machine. Right, right. So the money really is going to a worthy yes. cause. I'm sure you'd like to thank this gentleman who's got for you tonight oh, £205. Pounds. Thank you. He's a lovely fellow, he really is. Jockey Wilson, privileged to have you on the show. Thank Ladies and gentlemen, warm <laughs> out Uh, it's all downhill now for you, isn't it? You never thought you'd get to this stage, did you? You really yeah. didn't. It's lovely to have you here. Now then, Bullseye Star Prize Board. You'll never forget it for the rest of your lives. Come and have a look at it, and I'll explain to you what to do, but as I said to you, you're over the worst now. Come and look at this. It's a test of memory as well as skill, of course. And I'll just refresh your memories. It's black segments and red segments, and in every red segment, we've got some super prizes. In one, a cut glass brandy decanter and matching glasses on a gallery tray. In two, for the festive season, a hamper full of Christmas fare. In three, a 14-inch colour portable TV set with its own aerial. In four, a lady's nine-carat gold necklace. In five, for the children, a traditional wooden rocking horse. In six, a gentleman's sheepskin car coat. In seven, a traditional 25-piece old Country Roses dinner service. In eight, 25 of the finest Havana cigars. And Bully's special prize this week, what every woman dreams of, a full-length Scandinavian mink coat. Now then, nine great prizes. We're giving you nine darts, six for Graham and three for Betty. OK, try and remember the prizes. Little rhyme, keep out of the black and in the red. You get nothing at all for two in a bed, so once you've hit a red, keep out of it. And don't forget Bully Star Prize on this special show. All right. In you go, Graham, and it's over to Tony. And it's Graham throwing for the prizes. First three darts. That's the ball! <laughs> That's the mink coat. Dear, dear me, what is that? That's red, it's number seven. That's the dinner service. Red again, number two. That's the Christmas hamper, so what a marvellous start. Three on three. In you go, Betty. Keep out of the ball. <laughs> super that, super that. So, Betty with three darts, she'll have to be careful. Keep away from the ball. She doesn't have to hit that ball. It's all right, it's all right. Red, number oh, four. Oh, that's a lady's gold necklace. Oh, unlucky. It's in the black. OK, Graham, in you go, Graham. Don't worry, I'll do that so for you, cos it's Christmas. Not to take the darts. <laughs> <laughs> Still, three more darts. What doing now, but it's Graham it's throwing them. That's red number three. Oh, that's the portable colour television. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. Red again, number five. That's the rocking horse for the family. A marvellous prize, that for the kiddies. What a throw. Oh, dear. One more dart. Red number again, six, number six. The Jets in court. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look at what you've won. You have won. 
The Christmas hamper, the portable colour television, the lady's gold necklace, the rocking horse, the gent sheepskin coat, the dinner service, and Bully Star Prize, a super full length mink coat. <laughs> I can't believe it. Well, what a super show this is turning out to be. Now we'd like you to consider a gamble. <laughs> right? Okay. Gamble those few prizes you've won there. Not a lot there, is there? <laughs> a couple of prizes. You can gamble those for tonight's star prize, which is hiding behind Bully. All we want you to do is score 101 or more with six darts. Three for Betty and three for Graham. And you've got the time it takes that board to revolve to tell us what you want to do. Now, I know it's a big decision, this. You're going to have to think a long time about this, whether you gamble or not, aren't you? What are you going to do? Take what we've got. <laughs> I should think you're going to take what you've got. And you have won, in fact, all those prizes there. £400 in cash. The £205 jockey won for you for the brain scanner, which we're delighted about. A lovely couple, ladies and gentlemen. As they go off with that wealth of prizes, give them a nice, warm <laughs> Christmas round of applause. Well, 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 dear me, that was tremendous, wasn't it? So we bring back now the couple who came second, and we bring back Steve and Peter and ask them about the gamble. <laughs> and Steve, well, now, what do we do? You have £240 in your hand. You want to gamble that £240 for tonight's star prize? Hiding behind Bully. 101 or more. Three darts apiece. What do you think? We're quite happy with what we've got, aren't we? They're quite happy with what they got, so they're not gambling. Give them a round of applause as we go off. Well done, guys. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know whether the world's ready for this or not. So we move on, and we move to the first couple who left us about 25 minutes ago, John and Mickey, and asked them if they want to gamble. Bring them back on <laughs> What do you think, boys? You know the score. Well, it's a big decision. Well, well, it's too I, I think you're probably right. Ladies and gentlemen, they're going to go for the gamble. £230. Have you got the money? Yes. yes hang on a minute, hang on a minute. No, we do this... Uh, no, I, I trust you. You trusted me earlier on. I, I know there was a tenner short when I counted it out to you. <laughs> I'll, <laughs> I'll, I'll keep this for now. You get it back if you win, of course. Non-dart player first, right? And it's three each, 101 or more. And we really are rooted for you on this... Christmas, well, nearly Christmas special. And for tonight's star prize, John to throw the first three darts, needing one or one or more. It's five. Single 20. Well, that's out the board. That's 25 scored, leaving 76 for Mickey. Single 20. That's treble one, unlucky. Oh, so near yet so far, but that's the gamble. Never mind. Come and have a look at it, lads. You were very close. Come and have a look at what it would have been. Oh, my goodness. Oh, you were a quarter of an inch away. Never mind. It's been a super show, really. Thanks very much for watching. Thanks to the incredible Jockey Wilson, Tony Green. Well, what can you say? Watch us next week, because the day wouldn't be the same, would it, without a bit of bullying? God bless. Indoor drying, making your clothes smell musty. Ooh. Bust the muss with Lenore Outdoorable. Unleash the sunshine freshness of drying outdoors on your clothes. Whoa, it's like your nose is being hugged by spring itself. What the? Fresh. <laughs> Lenore Outdoorable. Fresh, as if dried outside. Being visible and relevant, it's powerful. I wanted to be part of history. Damn! People always call me Monster. The story of my life. Fox, it's the loneliest place in the world. You need to be resilient and not to stay on the path. Being famous is a game. Do you think you're too powerful? We might never know the truth. Force facts, force fiction. Showtime. Here we go. He didn't just want to be famous.